Sunday, June 16th, just before we get into things, must share this message on Father's Day uh, that Gordon Ramsay has posted. Hi guys, it's Gordon. Um, I'd like to share a very important message with you all. Um, you know how much I love cycling and triathlons and Ironman, etc. Um, this week, unfortunately, I had a really bad accident um, and it really shook me. And honestly, um, I'm lucky to be here. Now, from those incredible trauma surgeons, doctors, nurses in the hospital that looked after me this week, they were amazing. But honestly, you've got to wear a helmet. Um, I don't care how short the journey is. I don't care you know, the fact that these helmets cost money, but they're crucial. Even with the kids, a short journey, they've got to wear a helmet. Now, I'm lucky to be standing here. I'm in pain, it's been a brutal week, and I'm sort of getting through it. But um, I cannot tell you the importance of wearing a helmet. This weekend is massive. It's Father's Day um, for new fathers, old fathers, middle-aged fathers. I want to wish you all a very happy Father's Day. But please, 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 please wear a helmet because if I didn't, honestly, I wouldn't be here now. Happy Father's Day. Byron Donalds. Uh, Byron Donalds is a, well, he's a former criminal. Just want to put that out there. You can check that. I'm not making it up. But um, is he a tap dancer? Because he appears to be like tap dancing like a, a clown on one of those, uh, do you remember the old school uh, variety shows where somebody would start pitter-pattering and they'd get a hook and pull him off? Uh, Byron is doing a 2024 impression of that. Uh, he's out-dumbing uh, Uncle Tim Scott. He's so desperate to be uh, Trump's valet person, to be the person that surprised the uh, toilet roll, to uh, rightfully backside a former guy, that he really is, well, well, tongue out. If it was back in the day, uh, you're not going to like what I'm going to say, so if you're easily offended, uh, go and do something else. Okay, if it was back in the day, he would be up at the big house pretending he's totally different from anyone else who has the same colour skin as him. Barring you an embarrassment. You meant to be a politician, not a... Uh, just straight forward, A W -S, S L I C K E R on all four knees. Desperate, sad Byron, sad. A bump stock does not cause anybody to be shot in the United States of America. That is the shooter that does that, not a piece of equipment. The bump stocks, if you will, is really just a brace for people who have arm injuries who still actively shoot. What's interesting about this is, yeah, I don't, I mean, I mean, that argument you could use to overturn the ban on machine guns, right. really. Yeah, exactly. Um, but said IVF is something that is so critical to a lot of couples. It helps them breed great families. Our country needs that. All right, let me ask you now about Ukraine. Well, finally, some news about your future. Mr. Trump said yesterday that your name is very high on his list of people he's considering as a running mate. Would you be ready on day one to serve as commander in chief if necessary? Well, I think if you're going to step, step into that job, it's obviously the, the toughest job, the biggest job, uh, not just in our politics, but really, frankly, in the world. Um, look, I think that I would have an ability to step in. I'm actually pretty intelligent. Um, I can sift through issues really, really well. It's about judgment. It's about logic streams. It's about how you make decisions at the end of the day. And then you cannot discount the fact that you would have a lot of people who are very qualified uh, to be around to help you do that job and do what's in the best interest of the American people. Do I believe in myself? 100% I do. And so, you know, we'll see what President Trump decides. I'm going to support whatever he does. What's the expression? Hold my beer. Uh, Uncle Tim Scott wants in. You know, when you have a baby and it doesn't know uh, what time of day it is, so it poos and well, shits all over the place uh, because it can't control its bowels. Tim Scott's the equivalent with his mouth. Um, his fiance really should have a word with him because he's just embarrassing himself. And uh, I'm not sure what Tim Scott's legacy will be, but I don't think it's something that would necessarily be uh, one of those. It might be something which would make you reach for the uh, airline sick bag. Tim Scott is just pure, pure, solid vomit. Respected law enforcement. Under Joe Biden, we've seen the movement to defund the police, leaving communities like the one I grew up in devastated and ravaged by a wave of violent crime that we have not seen literally in five decades. Actually, Senator, as, I, as you probably know, the latest stats on violent crime and on the murder rate, they're actually down this past year. But let me get back to my question. 
about the Supreme Court's decision. Well, let's, 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 take, but, let's take a look at those. those but, let's, let, let's take a look at those crime rates. We've seen over 4,000 shootings just in the city of Chicago. We've seen a spike in violent crime. It's nice to see something plateau, but the fact of the matter is simple. Under Joe Biden, neighborhoods like the ones I grew up in have okay. never been ravaged. But, 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 but back like to the one that raised me are trapped in their houses from the time the sun goes down until it comes up again. So to, to my question, though, on, on bump stocks, would you now? Yeah, no Donald doubt. Donald Trump believes in law and order. No doubt about it. I, I mean, I saw that firsthand. Okay, so, Senator, the day before that violent mob attacked the Capitol, you uh, put out a statement uh, explaining your decision to certify Joe Biden's election victory. Do you stand by that? You were not one of those that challenged the results. You uh, uh, voted to certify Biden's election victory. Do you stand by that? Certainly, I will stand by that decision and the next decision to certify the fact that Donald Trump will be the next president of the United States. November 5th, the day of reckoning is coming. The early ballots go out in places like North Carolina starting in September. We're going to focus on making sure that we use every tool in the toolkit to make sure that this election results are clear and profound and that the American people get four more years of low unemployment, low and inflation, then, high enthusiasm, and a president respected and sometimes feared on the global stage. That president will be Donald Trump. All right, and, and then very quickly, we're just about out of time, but you had said that Mike Pence absolutely did the right thing when he defied Donald Trump's demand uh, to, to, uh, to not certify that election. Do you still stand by that, that Pence absolutely did the right thing on January 6th? The, con the, the, the Constitution okay. is clear. What we're trying to focus on is how do we make sure we get four more years where the American okay. people, particularly kids like me, growing up in poverty, have the best future we could possibly have. Senator Living Scott, their thank version you. of the American dream. That takes Donald Trump. Senator Donald. Scott, thank you very much for being with us here this Sunday. Thank you very much. Thank you, much. John. Yes, sir. All right, coming up. Let's get something straight about Tim Scott and Byron Donald. It is nothing to do uh, with their color of the skin, in my opinion. It's just that they have no dignity. They're just really, really desperate. Byron Donald has children. He's a father. I mean, his son would like to have some level of that looking up to him and not thinking, why is my dad always cowering and just on all fours? And as for Tim Scott, um, I think Tim Scott is so self-loathing. Guarantee if you to go to Tim Scott's house, there'd be no mirrors. Because he looks in the, he doesn't see what we see when we look in the mirror. I have no idea what he sees. So to, to my question, though, on, on bump stocks, would you now favor a Congress acting to ban bump stocks? You had said after that shooting in Las Vegas uh, that if, if the vote came up, it would sail through Congress. So are you uh, in favor of that ban right now? Well, I'm strongly in support of the Second Amendment, but what we're going to do in the party... And I asked about the ban on, on bump Thursday. stocks, not we're the Second focus, Amendment. We're going to focus... We're going to focus on the priorities of the American people. And what the priorities of the American people are today is to focus on closing our southern border. Under Donald Trump, we had a precipitous drop in illegal border crossings. Under Donald Trump, under Joe Biden, we've seen an explosion, 10 million Illegal immigrants have invaded our country, leading to uh, migrant crime that we just saw just yesterday. Okay. A mother of five killed by an illegal immigrant. So what the focus will be is on the safety of the American people. That starts with focusing on our southern border. Okay, so you're not going to answer that question. Let me get to Donald. Take this guy serious there. But do people really believe the fact that... Uh, beef trend, man. <laughs> Can't even say it. Uh, basically, won't need to wipe your own backside after he has taken over. No, he's going to make sure that from now on you won't need toilet roll because the crap you'll be producing uh, won't exist. Everything will be smelling roses. I mean, it's just anybody that believes this probably should go and uh, get some therapy. He really believes that anything that's going on in the world right now uh, that isn't good, let's say you've run out of bread over the weekend, he'll sort it out. Let's say you happen to have a, I don't know, a common cold. He'll sort it out. The great stutter... Seriously? I've seen other politicians speak. Uh, I understand how the political game goes, but this guy? Rape.
guilty. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, count it in. 31, 32, 33, 34. And I said to Charlie, and I said to Michael, I said to everyone, listen, we don't need votes. We got more votes than anybody's ever had. We need to watch the vote. We need to guard the vote. We need to stop the steal. We don't need votes. We have to stop. Focus. Don't worry about votes. We got all the votes. I was in Florida yesterday. Every house has a Trump sign. Trump, 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 Trump. And you know who owns the car plants being built in Mexico? China! So we can't let these people destroy our country like this. I mean, they're going crazy. Today you read where they don't want to have any water in your dishwasher. So your dishwasher won't work, and they think that's good. So what you do is you keep having it go on and on and on. The electric bill is 10 times more than the water. And these are areas that have so much water, they don't know what to do with it. They're flooding. They're floodplains. They have so much water in many cases. Now we can't do that. You know, I ended that. I went to, in Ohio, a great company was going out of business because of uh, dishwashers. They wouldn't give the water. You couldn't sell the product. And South Korea and China were dumping dishwashers in here for half the cost. They weren't as good. Whirlpool, but half the cost, they weren't as good. And I went and I saved it. I put a 50% and 100% tariff on all of these dumped machines. And I saved that company. And then I said to the head of the company, who was great actually, called me, said, we don't know what to do, you can't, I mean, they're dumping this stuff. They can't be, you know, they're losing a fortune, but it didn't matter because their governments were paying for it. He said, I don't know what to do. I said, it's okay, so I solved the one problem. They're not dumping, what's your next problem? They don't allow us to use water. We need more water. You can't wash dishes unless you have a certain amount of water. I said, how much do you need? We need just a little bit more. I said, I'll give you a lot more. I gave them a lot more. Now they want to end it again. You ever go into a new home where you have a shower where the water doesn't come out of the shower head? They put a restrictor on. I took all the restrictors off. I took them off. I've had the experience. I take a shower. I want that beautiful head of hair to be nice and wet. Lather. I want it to be lathered beautifully. And I get the best stuff you can buy, and I dump it all over. And I'm, and then I turn on the water, and the damn water drips out. Takes me, I can't get the stuff out of my hair. It's a horrible thing. No, it's terrible. Oh, you turn on the sink and the faucet. You turn it, in and no water, practically no water comes. So you leave your Soldiers. hands under there. You try to and get said, the water. Was that? What? He couldn't breathe. I said, are you okay in that beautiful suit? He had no idea where the hell he was. He's watching a parachute land and he turns around to look at trees.